In today's video, I want to show you guys the entire process of reselling video games and ultimately show you guys how I make a living reselling video games on eBay. And what better way to do that than to actually document every single step of that process and to actually do everything that I'm going to go ahead and talk about. So with that said, I want to go ahead and document everything from sourcing to actually processing and listing these items. And hopefully by the end of the video, we'll be able to go ahead and actually pack everything and drop it off at the post office. So with that said, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm super excited to see what we can find out there. Um, speaking of which, we need some inventory for this video. So I'm gonna go ahead, spend the rest of this evening, see what sort of deals I can come up with, and I'll touch back with you guys tomorrow if we can go over the deals. All right, so it is the next day, and well, last night I was able to find about eight deals on Facebook Marketplace. So right now we're going to go ahead and take a look at what I send out offers on and what we'll be picking up today. So starting things off with our first bundle, which was six Nintendo Switch games, which I personally valued at about $243. The seller wanted about $200 for everything, um, but I was able to talk them down to 180. Unfortunately, we couldn't really agree on a time to meet up. So I simply passed on that deal. Next up, we have a new Nintendo 3DS XL with 17 games. I valued everything at about $830. The buyer wanted 600. That worked with me and we will be picking that up today. So next up, we have a Nintendo 3DS XL and I value those at, at about $250. The buyer wanted 280, but I was able to negotiate my way down all the way down to $200 and well, we're able to pick that one up today as well. Now, next up, we have another Nintendo 3DS XL with three games. I valued everything at about $300. The buyer wanted $250. Now, unfortunately, it sold to someone else, so we won't be picking that one up today. Next up, we have another Nintendo 3DS XL. I value those at $250. The buyer wanted $150, but unfortunately, we couldn't really agree on a pickup time. That worked for the both of us, so I had to pass on that deal. Uh, next up, we have a brand new Nintendo Switch inbox. Uh, actually, not brand new, sorry. Just a Nintendo Switch inbox with 10 games. I valued the whole bundle at about $640. The buyer wanted $950. I offered them 500. Unfortunately, the buyer said that they were very firm on the price. So we had to go ahead and pass. Uh, next up, we have a Nintendo 3DS XL with 14 games. I valued everything at about $375, which I thought was a pretty fair valuation. However, the buyer did want 225, which actually worked with me. Um, and we were able to agree on a location and time. So we will try to pick that one up today. And last but not least, we have a Nintendo Switch Lite with Pokemon Violet. I valued that whole bundle at about 210. The buyer wants, I believe, uh, 200 or something like that, 215. Um, and then I simply offered 150. But unfortunately, the buyer said no and that they are firm on the price. So with that said, let's go ahead, hop out of the studio into the car and go pick up these deals. And just like that, I ended up getting our first deal of the day, which was this red Nintendo 3DS XL, and I paid about $200 for it. And next up, I got the new Nintendo 3DS XL with about 17 Nintendo 3DS games for a grand total of $600. All right, so we just ended up getting two of the deals. Unfortunately, the third one, uh, I don't have enough time to pick up today, which is completely my fault. Um, unfortunately, it was just kind of uh, a lot of traffic on the way to the bank, had to kind of abandon plans last second. But if we got two of the deals, one of them being an absolutely insane deal. So plenty of things that we can go ahead and deal with in today's video. So let's go ahead, head back to the studio and take a look at what we got. All right, so we are back in the studio with our pickups from today. So let's go ahead and go through everything. Starting things off with the second deal, which was, I believe, 17 Nintendo 3DS games with the new Nintendo 3DS console. Uh, let's take a look at the games because there are some really good ones. Starting things off, we have Zelda A Link Between Worlds. We have Mario Tennis Open, Pilot Wings Resort, which is apparently a very rare game. Uh, we have Mario Party DS, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 08. We have Animal Crossing. We have New Yoshi Island. We have Pokemon Y, great game. We have Super Smash Bros for the Nintendo 3DS. We have a copy of Mario Kart 7. We have Mario Golf World Tour. We have Luigi Mansion Dark Moon. 
we have the legend of zelda we have super mario 3d land we have mario sports superstars we have donkey kong 3d returns and then last but not least we have a copy of mario party island tour all right next up we have the console which is once again the new nintendo 3ds xl these guys are super, super popular on eBay. Every time I see one, I try to pick them up and they usually sell very, very quickly for like $300. Uh, and this one works and it is in very good condition. No scratches on the screen whatsoever. Uh, it's basically mint, which is awesome. Uh, we also have all the games for all those cases. And then we also have a charger plus this really cool case for the console, which I will go ahead and simply bundle with the console. That way um, we can go ahead and get rid of it and not have to throw it out because I still think it's pretty cool with your condition and it'll definitely uh be a good addition to the console i guess all right but now moving on to our first pickup of the day which is another nintendo 3ds xl it's not the new one i believe it's just the og one uh if we can go ahead and get it out i'm also going to go ahead and sell the case with the console because well why not the back of it looks good the top of it looks good let's see if we can take a look at the screens which do look fairly good to me. It doesn't look like there's any scratches at all. Just needs a quick clean, which I'll simply well, go, go over in a little bit because that is a part of the reselling process and anything else in here. We do have a copy of the Lego movie video game for the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, so that's great. I mean, it's nothing too crazy, but we take it. We take it. Uh, we also have the charger as well. And then maybe is there a game in the console? No, that's great. Perfect. So this is a quick look at everything that we have. But now we have to go ahead and actually we're going to go ahead and start with the consoles, which we need to first of all clean, but then also factory resets. I'll show you guys how I do that. All right. So here we have the first Nintendo 3DS XL. So we're going to go ahead and actually factory reset it if we can... Um, Go back to the main page here. There we go. Perfect. It does have a whole bunch of games on it, actually. So, um, I mean, if you're picking this up for yourself, you could definitely play it. You don't really have to factory reset them. However, sometimes people do leave their personal information on these, which is why I factory reset every single console that I have just in case. And to do that, it's actually very really simple. I simply go over to the settings tab, which is right here. Uh, from there, we can suspend any sort of software. And then from there, we'll simply load the actual um the actual settings application finally we can go over to other settings uh scroll all the way to the right keep her going keep going format system memory from there we simply want to press ok it's going to connect to the internet at which point we can go ahead and not disable that on this console so i'll go ahead sign into my wi-fi and we can get back to this all right so i went ahead connected to my wi-fi now we can actually try to factory reset this console so we're going to go ahead and press ok it is going to connect to the wi-fi and then we can keep pressing format and ok then it's going to give us a final prompt which will simply press format at which point it's fairly simple if you don't know how to reset a console simply find a youtube video on it, it there's a bunch of them out there for every single console uh, and make sure you do factory reset them once again you don't have to but i personally think it's a great idea just so you don't end up selling a console that has someone's information on it um, especially if it's your own console you don't want your credit card information or your logins going out there uh, i mean it's fairly straightforward either way while this one is formatting we'll go ahead and start up with the other one which i believe this one might be the same thing um, as that one so there's not really much to show you guys but this one does need a lot of cleaning so i'll go ahead and run through that right now so with that said i use lysol light you can use any sort of wipes i guess um i mean really whatever works for you just make sure that it's not like very very wet as you can see this one's actually already factory reset so we won't set it up or anything i'll just simply power it off and then we, it's ready to go and ready to be listed as i mean it works and everything so that's perfectly fine but with that said we're going to go ahead grab a lysol wipe clean the top screen the bottom screen the buttons as well as the top of the case the back the sides as well as the bottom and then i guess the same thing goes for this one it's just that it's not that dirty so it just really needs a quick wipe um and then it's all ready to go so with that said both of these guys are ready to go both chargers seem to be in pretty good condition so we'll go ahead and start listing them all right so now that the consoles are tested cleaned and factory reset it is time to do the uh, probably the most boring part which is list the consoles uh now what i do is i actually use my phone the one i'm currently using to record right now and i simply create a draft using the ebay app um and there i simply just actually upload the photos 
through the app and then I also select um, kind of like a sell similar listing. Uh, and then what I do is after I've listed and drafted all the consoles, I'll simply go ahead, take them over to the computer and finish up the drafts there. Now, in terms of photos, what I like to show is obviously what's included. So if there's any sort of memory cards or styluses or whatever, any sort of other accessories like the bags or the chargers, I make sure that is all laid out in the first photo. And then after that, I simply provide close-up photos of the bottom screen, the top screen, the top of the consoles, the sides of the consoles, as well as the bottom of the console. And that would obviously go the same for that. I mean, there's 12 photos that you can use, so I recommend using all 12 photos if possible. Otherwise, it's fairly straightforward. Both of these consoles, I will only ship with tracked shipping to Canada and US. I don't ship consoles anywhere else around the world, only Canada and US, that's my policy. In fact, any item over $40, I only do attract shipping. Otherwise, I just simply do letter mail or um, small packet air or whatever, simply cheapest. Uh, with that said, listings when they're done should look a little bit like this. Uh, and if you guys want more examples, head over to my eBay store. Link is down in the description and check out some of my other listings. Just some more examples of what my listings look like. And that is it for consoles. Let's go ahead and move over to the games. Now, when listing games, I have a proper photo setup, unlike when I list consoles. And the reason why I have a proper photo setup when I do games is because I usually list like 40 at a time. So with that said, when it comes to listing video games, it's fairly straightforward. Make sure you have good lighting and then I simply go ahead, switch over to photo mode. I take a photo of the front of the case, the back of the case, as well as the insides. If I can open this up, for some reason it is not opening. There we go. And then obviously the inside, if it's a more expensive game, I might add some more photos, um, especially if there's any more extra inserts, stuff like that, um, as well as the uh the side over here the um actually let me show on this camera the, the side of the case once again only for more expensive games if it's just a normal game simply three photos will do and then you simply list it on ebay so once the listings are done they should look a little bit like this uh, and hopefully that helps you guys um, when you're doing your listings. Once again, if you want more examples, head over to my eBay store, check out some of my listings. Now that everything has been listed, we can go ahead and wait for everything to sell and I'll update you guys when we have some sales. All right, guys, it is actually the next day. It is actually the next morning to be more specific. And we already have some sales from the items that we listed yesterday. Uh, there is obviously a lot more sales, just that when it comes to the items that we picked up yesterday, here is what sold. Turn things off, we sold these two games to one buyer for a total of $49.28, which is awesome. We ended up selling the Nintendo 3DS for $325. Uh, so I wanna go ahead and quickly go over how I pack these items. So for this guy, I'll simply use a 21 by 16 by I believe 26 centimeter box or it's a 10 by eight by six eBay box. Simply use some packing paper, throw this guy in there, put a lot of tape around the box, make sure that it's not going to break or anything like that. Then after that, I'll simply head over to my computer, purchase and then print the label using my thermal label printer, slap that label on there and it's good to go. For games like this that are simply being sent with letter mail, I'll simply use a bubble mailer. Uh, I use the size zero ones for just one game, but in this case, there's two of them. So I'm going to use a, um, a extra large bubble mailer and I will simply stamp my return address on the top left corner. The buyer's address goes in the middle and then I'll simply weigh the item and use the appropriate amount of stamps as well. Now, if video game does sell and it is an international item or it simply needs tracking, such as this Pokemon game, which sold for $100, I will use a bubble mailer once again, but I will simply print the label from eBay uh, and slap it on to the bubble mailer and then simply drop it off at the post office. So once everything is packed, it'll look a little bit like this. And just like that, everything now has officially been packed and we can go ahead and drop it off at the post office. All right, so it is about two days later and well, we have a lot more sales. Obviously some of these sales aren't from the stuff we picked up this week, but I still thought I mentioned them just so you guys can uh, keep an eye out. So we'll start off with the stuff that we did pick up in this video, and that was this red Nintendo 3DS XL, which we paid 200 for, and we sold the console for 255, as well as a copy of New Super Mario Bros for a total of $270. We sold a copy of Mario Party Island Tour, as well as Animal Crossing for a total of $44. We sold a copy of Pokemon Blue, as well as Lego Harry Potter years five through seven for a total of $56. This wasn't a part of this video, but still both games are great to look out for. Uh, we sold a loose copy of Pokemon 
the Ruby version. This one sold for $85. We sold a copy of Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS for like $12. All right, next up, we sold a copy of Mario Tennis Open for $22. And then we also sold a copy of Mario Golf World Tour for a grand total of $100. So this is definitely a game you guys should look out for. And last but not least, we sold a copy of Sonic Riders for $15. So overall, some pretty awesome sales. Obviously, we've had a whole bunch of other sales come through, but there isn't really that much time to talk about them in today's video. But yes, we're still selling a whole bunch of the other items. However, these are just some of the highlights that I thought I'd share with you guys so you can look out for them when you're obviously hunting for video games. And that is going to be it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy these type of videos. Hopefully, you learned a thing or two as well. And hopefully, I was able to inspire you guys to also start selling video games and consoles on ebay as always if you have any sort of questions or suggestions drop them down below in the comments let me know what you guys thought of today's pickups i thought they were pretty awesome uh, but let me know down below in the comments as always make sure to go ahead hit that like button subscribe comment and if you want to learn how to resell video games with a little bit more detail make sure to go ahead and check out this video otherwise i'll see you on the next one peace